Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Fan News. I'm Joe Burke, and this is going to be the next video on the NCAA Regionals as we break down the hot stars of America International, who even in a losing effort did play Michigan really well and really pushed the pace for them and really made Michigan have <coughs> to step up, excuse me, their ante to close out that game on Friday night. Key to America International before we get to um, their goaltending, which they didn't even have a uh, Kucharski. As a guy that was eligible, who was their lone draft pick, who was picked by the Carolina Hurricanes to fill in with Makaniemi, LaFontaine, and the 800 other prospects they have as good goaltenders in their system. But when it comes to America International, Jake Stella is a stud, and that's why he got the captain C when their actual captain went down. So, uh... Eric Lang said it was very much that he was the guy that was going to get it, and he did get it. And Evan Stella his, is his brother, the freshman, who was already put in shutdown situations as a freshman. That's the confidence Eric Lang has in him, and his brother has in him, where Lang said is <laughs> in the pressure that there's Swedish curses going back and forth, that he has no idea what the hell they're saying. But that's how much Stella um, really pushes his brother, Jake Stella, that is, the captain of the team, due to the fact that their actual captain got injured in season. He really pushes his brother to be the best because he knows he's so good. And honestly, he probably thinks with how much he pushes him, he's better than he is as a center, as a defenseman, because obviously every team needs a great shutdown defenseman. And uh, Jake Stella, though, is a very solid shutdown center. So he could get, he's only a junior right now. He's a guy that plays a very good structured game, right? Obviously, over there in Sweden, they preach the fundamentals really early, and they preach the structure really early. So he's very good at very at, at every component. He's just not elite at anything, but y you need those guys. Those are perfect three Cs, usually. When you're very solid at every component, you're just not amazing. So... I think he's a guy to keep a lookout for, for sure, for somebody to sign as time goes on. A guy that's a big boy uh, that can provide, at least at the ECHL, AHL level, and work his way up, I think, on those types of contracts is Luca Maver. Uh, he's a grad student that came over from Slovenia. Again, Langer pull, pulls really well, Eric Lang, from Europe. He came over from Slovenia, played really well, big guy. If he continues to grow some pounds, like the 205 from 195, he's 6'3", hits guys around. He's a guy that I would look out for as well as a guy that can fill a bottom line role, but a guy that you have to look out for, Blake Bennett, the junior. He's somebody that played a absolutely fantastic tournament, upped his play in the tournament, but played great the entire season. I don't give a crap that he's 5'8". In today's game, first of all, let's be honest, the game now is way more of a finesse skill game than it is a round and pound game. I see more physical games in the college hockey circuit sometimes than I do in the NHL and it's there's no problem with that necessarily but it's just the way that the tide and then the way history is going right now well that's kind of where the NHL is going you see more physical games in the ECHL sometimes and even the AHL than you do the NHL so it's not a problem there's a lot of fun skill guys at like the Connor McDavid's the Leon Dreisels the Nathan McKinnon's the uh, Trevor Z Zegers's of the world and etc cetera, etc cetera. the Stamkos's that, that that play a great game, and, and it's fun to watch their skill, but also it's fun when those guys also play on the hit, like a la Giroud Crosby in a postseason. But it, but, but I, that, that, that's, just, that's just me. But I do think when it comes to the skill you have, like look at Danny Brea. He was a great player in the league for a while. He's not the biggest guy. If you have, this, if you have the wit, wits, determination, and all that, you're going to be able to find it if you have that skill and you also have the grind to always get to the dirty areas, and Blake Bennett has all of that. So I would say he's a guy to watch out for as well. Evan Stella definitely is a guy to watch out for. And um, when it comes to um two guys as well that have been paired together and were one of the best plus-minus guys, actually I think they were the best plus-minus pairing, um, Seth said, in the league um, for America International. Well... You have Linder, who's a freshman, and Brian Kramer, who's a sophomore. So I would say Lewis Linder, who is out of um, Austria, and Kramer, who is from America, I would say those two guys are defensemen to look out for on top of Evan Stella because they have some pretty interesting players to look out for. And then grad student Alec Cavaruso, I would not be surprised if at least ECHL teams are really taking notice of him. He stepped in as a grad student, as a guy that they got for depth and their goaltender goes down and he steps up in tenfold 
and honestly played a good game. You would think when you give up five goals, I didn't play that good of a game. It's Michigan. They make very fancy plays. Luke Hughes does a spin move, and, and it's like a video game out there. So uh, I thought they played really well and actually had a great push in the third. And they never gave in, never gave up, and they showed great push. And that's that's great for a school. I mean, they're under 2,000 undergrad students. And Eric Lang got them three straight um, to the tournament, and it's going to continue to make this team good. As uh, I'll talk about this in <clears throat> maybe a future video that I'll do on them. But their recruiting class looks pretty solid as well. But everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. Stay safe out there. This has been the latest edition of Sports Fanatic News. As we talked about, America International and the key players on their team, even in a losing effort, hell of a season for them. As there's more key guys than the people we went over, but I, we would be here for a millennium if we went over and everyone. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe, and please continue to subscribe down below or above on the easy-to-use widget to keep the channel going and growing. I really appreciate your love and support thus far.